So let's see. I guess we begin with Pokemon Season 7 Discs 9 and 10, which I finished, and I don't know, I can't really think of anything specifically to comment about, especially since there's been a number of things since then. <sighs> what a week. Oof. So, I guess I'll... Uh, I want to continue with Pokemon Season 8 and 9 because I really want to get through the advanced stuff. Get that behind me. But with so, many, so much of an anime backlog, that takes time. Uh, but let's see. After I finished that, I watched Professor Layton and the Eternal Diva. And that was an interesting movie. Uh, if there was anything about it, I would say disappointing. It'd actually be that the advertisements for the games on the DVD kind of made me wish that the advertisement for that Professor Layton versus um, Phoenix Wright game coming out in Japan would be, you know, an advertisement for that would be on there. Or maybe a, an advertisement for an English release because that's, that's just exciting. And I'm not even familiar with the Professor Layton franchise. I just uh, got a, the general idea and the advertisements that were there for the games were certainly very intriguing. Makes me want to pick them up. But with all the things I'm doing, by the time I could get around to picking them up, I probably won't even remember that I wanted to. Or perhaps it'd be better if I spent that money on anime DVDs anyways, right? Oh well. Anyways, um... I don't know. I just walked, walked out of um, or walked away from the movie thinking this is pretty neat and I don't want to talk too much about why it was. I mean, it's not like it's awesome, spectacular, blow your mind clever because they run into a lot of obstacles along the way and I was thinking I bet they're supposed to do that with that and that with that and I generally had the right idea the whole time. So it's not the sort of thing that is supposed to completely blow your mind with how clever it set things up, but it's actually it's also not um, something too bad unreasonable. I, I don't know. I can I feel like I can't really talk too much about it without spoiling the movie. I mean, it's just one movie, right? So yeah, my impression walking away from it is neat. Won't make my personal top twenty, but if it was on again, I wouldn't mind watching it. Let's see. After that, I watched the first 13 episodes of Kimi Kiss Pure Rouge. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? If I get it wrong, y'all will tell me, right? And this is not a very good anime to be watching so close to Amagami SS, I think. Especially going into it thinking I'm watching another romance anime, and then it feeling kind of unfocused compared to Amagami. Which may or may not be a good thing, but I walked into there thinking, this is the main character, and I'm like, oh, these characters are the main characters, and it's like, okay, so now I know the relationship between these characters, and okay, now they're arbitrarily changing this relationship, and in order to make things slightly more difficult. It's not bad, but... I've found that it's kind of harder to pay attention to, to focus on for some reason, so it's it's been hard playing Minecraft while doing that as well. But I got through the first collection, and I'm not against the idea of continuing in any way whatsoever, I mean, because I still have the folder open, it's just, well, there's other things that, to watch. For example, the next thing I watched was the Skycrawlers which is a movie that's... I don't know how long it's been out, actually. It's just been out on DVD for however long it has been. But um, somebody on uh, Reddit was asking me um, what my opinion on the movie was, and since I hadn't seen it, but I could watch it to give them an opinion, you know, I decided I wanted to. Now, I wanted to do that over the weekend and ended up pushing it out into last night. Oh my god, that's... Oh yeah, last night was a crazy night. Okay, so I pushed it out till last night, and 
it was actually a pretty interesting movie to watch. So as it started, I mean, it starts out good, I think, because, you know, it's this interesting dogfight going on in the air, but it then kind of seemed to transition to this point of where I didn't quite understand the purpose of the movie. And if I missed subtle hints along the way there, because of how crazy yesterday was, I do know that by the end of the movie, it's like, oh wow, that's, uh, I didn't actually notice that or see it coming, that's actually pretty neat. I guess, um, I can't say too much without spoiling it, but I know that at the beginning I was wondering why I was watching it, and at the end I'm like, now I know why I watched it, that was a good watch. It reminds me a bit of um, Ghost in the Shell. I wouldn't be surprised if similar people were working on it. I think most of that is the lady who's the leader of the um, airbase. Reminds me a lot of the Major. Which could mean similar character designers or similar mangaka or the same people working on both story writers directors or maybe they're completely unrelated. But it's it's just strange. It's all it's just something with the eyes. I don't know what it is. Like she looks like she's looking through you into your soul or something. And the major had that in some parts of Ghost in the Shell. I don't know if that was just the movie or if some of that was in the series as well. I can't remember. Huh. Anyways, um, and then I, after after that, you know, one of the things is like, this weekend was complicated because I had friends over both days watching different kinds of anime. You know, one of them is going through um, Kakaishi, so I'm going to probably start watching the rest of Kakaishi with him. Three is supposed to come out next month, I think. But, um, the, that friend, I was thinking I was going to watch Darker Than Black 2 with when I forgot that he actually decided he wasn't going to watch it with me. And that suddenly became a higher priority watch. Excuse me. I guess while we're talking about what I watched with other people over the weekend, I also watched, uh, Nausicaa, The Vow of the Wind, and The Girl Who Leapt Through Time with uh, another friend who's in town, uh, who amusingly enough was in Japan for the past couple of years with the, uh, I don't know, uh, the Navy, I think. But um, despite that, I guess he had not kept up on any anime at all. So, or maybe very little anime. I, I don't, I don't know the details. I don't pretend to know his personal life. But you know, we watched Nausicaa, one of my favorites from my childhood, and. Uh, the Girl Who Left Through Time, which is um, just uh, an amusingly entertaining movie throughout. Still liked watching both of them. Oh well. But, you know, like I said, my priorities shifted, and the final thing I've done is I've watched like four episodes of Darker Than Black 2, and... I guess interesting is the word I would choose. It's probably like what I say about almost everything, right? Because there's really interesting things about almost everything out there. It's just some people, you know, can find something interesting but don't find that entertaining in and of itself, I guess. Um, Dark and the Black 2 doesn't seem like that, though. It seems like a fairly solid series. and I wasn't quite sure what, it, what was going to happen, so I kind of teetered on the menu longer than I should have wondering if I really wanted to watch it and spoil um, what I thought it was going to be versus what it actually was. And so far, it's been very interesting. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I can place exactly what it is. It could even be something as simple as contractors from the series being um, a good reflection for the mood I wanted to be in, given that I was like really, really angry all, all day yesterday and, well, the end of the day yesterday and half the day today and whatnot, and then, you know, contractors 
kind of seemed like maybe they just reinforced that and there was a lot of synergy going on there. I don't know. That, that I'm completely speculating there. Anyways, that's everything I watched. Maybe more information than y'all wanted to know. But, but I do apologize for that. I am definitely exhausted. I've never really pushed myself till 4 in the morning until last night. I'm usually, in the worst case, 3 in the morning, so I'm blabbering on. I should end this now. See you next week.